hello everyone and welcome to the channel so in today's video i am going to show you uh, two different types of uh, esp microcontrollers uh, this one is uh, on the right is esp a266 uh, also known as 12e and this right here is esp8285 now as you can see uh, esp8285 is smaller than the ESP A266 and it's got a little bit less uh, IO pins as compared to ESP A266 uh, but uh, they have the, almost the same memory and speed is also same so for comparison this is the Nord MCU board and right next to it is ESP A285 and this one is ESP A266 now on this board I have removed the outer shell of the chip and I am also going to remove the outer shell of this chip so you can see the IC of this board uh, it's, uh, you can uh, remove it easily by just uh, inserting a flat screwdriver on this corner and pull it out or uh, you can do is grab a soldering iron and heat the sides of this board and this protective cover will just come off so let's first look at the IO pins on these two boards So we have uh, transmit receive and GPIO 5, 4, 0, 2, 15 and ground and on right side we have reset analog to digital converter enable pin GPIO 16, 14, 13 and 12 and then VCC and on the bottom we have SPI pins for SPI communication. Uh, clock pin MOSI and GPIO 10, GPIO 9, MISO and CSO these pins are used for uh, you know uh, SPI communication so on the left we have ESP8285 board uh, it's got uh, a few pins uh, less than the ESP8266 board because it's got uh, it's small in size and so the pins are IO16 reset transmit receive IO5402 and ground on the right we have analog to digital converter ADC pin enable pin IO14 to 15 14 12 13 or and 15 and then we have VCC both of these boards uh, are capable at working on 3.3 uh, volts because they don't have any onboard uh, regulator to step down the uh, 5 volt and they can be burned if uh, 5 volts are supplied to these ports both boards have uh, marking at their lower part and another difference in between these ports is that ESP8266 have onboard LED and this one does not have any onboard LED so I'm going to remove this cover and show you what's inside uh, but first look at this board it's got ESP8266 IC ESP8266 EX so now that the cover is removed we can see the internal IC of this board which is ESP8285 let me just focus this one ESP8285 
so to upload the code in these programmers uh, or microcontrollers you have to connect a certain pins with uh, your programmer and you have to pull down a few pins in order to get it into uh, programming mode or boot mode so on ESP8285 you have to uh, pull enable connect your enable pin with VCC and ground with IO0 transmit and receive with TXRS pins of the programmer I'm going to make some connections and then show you how it's done so I'm going to uh, just uh, you know connect a push button instead of fire so we can push it while plugging in the board into the uh, programmer and then leave the button so it goes into boot mode one pin goes to ground and the other one to the IO0 the pads on this board is uh, very small so you have to be careful while connecting them they are small and fragile so don't use any force on them or else you will just take the print out and the board will not work anymore I have already done that so I am giving you a heads up because that will destroy the board and you won't be able to fix it So right here now I've connected a push button with IO0 and ground now when I push it and plug in the programmer the program uh, the board goes directly into boot mode and it will not run any program just uh, get itself ready for a program upload so the next one is uh, CC. So, right here we have CC. So this one should be VCC. So we have transmit receive and our VCC and this one is ground.
so as you know I've made this programmer for ESP cam board a while ago you can watch that video on my channel so I'm going to use this USB to TTL converter for uploading program into this small board so transmit goes to receive and receive goes to transmit the transmit pin on board will connect to the receive pin of the programmer uh, which is cross connection so that the board can communicate with your laptop or PC whatever you use and positive goes to 3.3 volt and grounds ground connects with ground so and we have received so this receive pin will connect to the transmit pin and transmit pin will connect to receive pin then ground with ground and positive with 3.3 volt So these are the connections uh, transmit from board goes to receive on programmer and receive on this board goes to transmit of this programmer and uh, VCC pin goes to 3.3 volt and ground connects to ground so let's program it now connect it with our laptop and see how it does so here's the basic pin out of this board as you can see io0 is flash pin you have to uh, connect it this pin with ground in order to put this ic into flash mode and transmit receive pins are io1 and io3 so arduino is open now we'll put a program of uh, let's say ssd oled because I've used SSD with this board and it works pretty well. SSD 1306. I have I2C version uh, which is 128 cross 64. Now go to tools and go to ESP8266. On top you can see ESP8285 module select this and so uh, when you plug in this programmer you have to keep this button pressed and plug it in so that board goes into uh, boot mode then you have to select your port in my case it's com port 6 make sure you have the right port selected and right board selected generic ESP825 module and then hit upload now wait for it to compile this is example code uh, which can be found in examples so connecting Now, 
as you can see data is being uploaded and program is being written at this port once it's run uh, we'll con disconnect this port from laptop and attach it with our OLED display done uploading or reset via reset pin so we'll just disconnect this and I also forgot to mention that uh, a year ago I made a uh, custom band based on ESP8285 which had two sensors uh, one for temperature monitoring and the other for uh, heart rate and SPO2 monitoring I'm going to give its a link in description do check that video out and tell me what you think about it